Health workers face a huge challenge trying to contain this season's flu outbreak. It is the most widespread in recent years, with at least 37 child deaths reported so far. The biggest clusters are in the South and West. Dr. Anthony Fauci is director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. He's part of the effort to fight future outbreaks. He joins us from the headquarters of the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. Dr. Fauci, good morning. Always good to see you. Good morning. First, let me ask you this. Why is this year's virus so deadly? Well, there are a couple of reasons. The type of virus that's dominating this year is what we call an H3N2, the designation of this particular kind of influenza A. It historically is a bad actor. So whenever you have this virus, this type of virus dominating, you generally see a bad season and you generally have more complications, particularly among the vulnerable people in whom complications are more common such as the elderly, such as individuals with underlying conditions, as well as children from birth to four years old. And also, as we know, the vaccine this year, although it's always best to get vaccinated, is not the perfect vaccine. It is not, uh, as we would say, favorably uh, uh, efficacious in the sense that we only don't know right now what the efficaciousness is going to be, but it likely is not going to be much more than around 30 percent. I say that with some trepidation because I don't want people not to get vaccinated. Every type of, inf of protection against against the virus with a vaccine is better than no protection at all. So a combination of a vaccine that doesn't work very well and a really bad virus. So given that combination, Dr. Fauci, what should people do? Well, the first thing you should do, and again, getting back to vaccination, if you have not been vaccinated, you should get vaccinated. That's for sure. Then if, in fact, you do get infected, uh, if you have what looks like it's going to be a serious infection, don't hesitate to get to a health care provider who can get you an anti-influenza antiviral mm -hmm. like Tamiflu. This is particularly true for people who fall into the risk categories where complications are common. So if you're an elderly person or you have an underlying disease, you should not wait to get anti-flu medication. You know, one of the interesting things in reading about everything that you write about, Dr. Fauci, is it's been a hundred years uh, since that, that lethal 1918 flu. And you're saying there could be one virus that could be catastrophic. Why can't we get a universal vaccine to protect us? Well, influenza is a very unusual virus in that it tends to drift from year to year. And sometimes when you get a pandemic, it's what we call a shift. There's a major change. This is so different from other important viruses like measles. The measles I got as a child is the same measles that's in the vaccine that we vaccinated my children with. So you don't have to worry about that change. So what we're fighting against is trying to get a vaccine that would induce a response against that part of the virus that doesn't change from season to season or with a pandemic. We refer to that as a universal flu vaccine. And only relatively recently have we been able to get an insight to understand what part of that virus actually doesn't change very much from year to year. And now how can we induce with a vaccine a response that would be dominant against that particular part of the virus? Because the vaccines we make now when they protect you, they make a response that's a good response, but it happens to be against that part of the virus that tends to drift because of mutations from year to year. Okay, Dr. Fauci, thanks so much for being with us.